I guess I would trace that back. At the end of World War II, I was six years old. And my uncle Myron, my father's brother, who was in the Army Signal Corps, brought back from Europe a hand, cr I'm sure you've seen him, hand crank Pathex 9.5 millimeter projector and a box of films, which he gave to me. And those, those films, uh, they were condensations, four real condensations of, of outstanding German and French feature films of the 20s. There were Melies films. There were Hal Roach films. I discovered film from my 9.5 millimeter films. Then when, oh yeah, I guess seeing, seeing movies in school, it occurred to me that one could get 16 millimeter films. And I asked for money for my 12th birthday and uh, bought a pre-war Bell & Howell projector mm -hmm. for $50. And there was a camera store, all the big camera stores in those days before television had 16 millimeter rental libraries. Mm. My father used to rent films in a projector and show them as a treat on my birthday, at my birthday parties for, for my little friends and my, <coughs> myself. And there was a camera store called Rieger's Camera Store which in Hackensack, New Jersey, which was uh, within a bike ride of, of home. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, in 1952-53, the rental business for their films had dried up and they were selling them off for a dollar a reel. Kodoscope prints, you know, really nice things. And, and they were intrigued by the idea that this, you know, little prepubescent twerp would be interested in these things. And, and uh, they cut a deal with me where I had a newspaper route. I made about three dollars and fifty cents a week, uh, which was pretty good money for a kid. And and I would spend it on f film. I'd ride over there uh, on Saturdays, and they would let me put down, you know, a dollar on this one and a dollar on that one, and so on, to keep anybody else from buying it. And then I would pay pay them off a little bit every week and tie up another couple. <laughs> and <laughs> and. Uh, I had a kind of a nice little collection of silent films from Riegers by the time I was in high school. Uh, and I, I sold all those films to uh, get money when I was in college, but, uh, but I, I, I had them in school and I would invite my friends over, even teachers I would invite over to come and we had a, a, a house with an, a nice big room in the basement that wasn't being used for anything, and that became my theater. And it was a pretty good sized room. It was like 25 feet long and 12 feet wide. And, you know, I could, with a one and a half inch lens, fill a five foot screen. And uh, I w began at that point making movies also uh, for the thespian club I was in. <laughs> so, yeah, so the, you know, I mean, the interest really dates back to when I was a little boy. I mean, no, I'm sure that, <laughs> unlikely as it might seem, if I decided I wanted to be a baseball player or something, I would have an origin story for that that would be completely different. Sure. But, but uh, I never wanted to be a baseball player, but I lo always loved, loved films. And uh, I've really never lost interest in them from, from that day to this.